Matt, welcome to Fairweather Foundry. Today we're going to talk about how I converted this cheap $50 on Craigslist bandsaw to a metal cutting bandsaw. Okay, so this is what I did essentially. And I didn't make any videos showing how to do this because I made this before I made this channel. Okay, so um, it all starts with a, uh, I think this is a half power horse. A half horsepower motor um, with an RPM, I think, of 1750, 1725. And um, it goes from, uh, oh, I can't remember the gear reduction, but I'm pretty sure this right here is uh, 2 to 1. And um, then on this pulley, this is an 8 inch pulley, there is a small pulley on the other side. So you see how there's a pulley on the other side um, and uh, the gear reduction between these two pulleys is um, uh, 8 to 1. Okay so um, <clears throat> this is a 4 inch pulley I just measured it goes to an 8 inch which it is 2 to 1 and uh, on, on this 8 inch there is a 2 and a quarter inch on the other side that 2 and a quarter inch goes to another 8 inch and then that on that eight inch there's another two and a quarter which goes all the way to this four inch right here um, and I don't know I'll, I'll do the, the math and put it up on the screen of what the final gear ratio is but that's about the range you want to be to cut metal you want to you want it to move really slowly with a lot of torque that's how you cut metal um, if it goes too fast you'll dull the, you'll, you'll dull the blade out quickly um, I think ideally I would have wanted a little bit slower speed than what I have here. Maybe instead of 8 to 1 you can go 10 to 1 or 9 to 1. Uh, but this works out well for me. So if we go underneath the motor is just, the tensioning on the motor is just done by the weight of the motor. This is bolted to the table. The table I also made is just out of some cheap 2x4s. Um, and you can see that it goes to the pulley. Now there's a tensioner mechanism right here. So I can put the pulleys on and tension it. And I'm going to show you, I have the exact same tensioner up here to tension this pulley. So first you put this belt on, which goes to the bandsaw that I got for 50 bucks on Craigslist, okay? And um, this assembly was just made out of some, you know, some cheap steel welded together into this sort of form right here. Um, it's kind of like a little vise you have. So first you have this part right here that moves in these this channel, okay? This right here, um, if you turn it, it's pretty tight right now. But you can see that this turns, you see? And there's a little notch going here to keep it in. This goes into the notch, this little bolt right here. Right here. And this pulls it back, which in turn tightens the belt. Okay, so this this compound pulley here is mounted on the shaft, and I think it's uh, I think it's three quarters, and it rotates in here. I have a brass bushing that's pressed in, and then this is the housing that goes that it goes through. Um, on the housing, I have welded um, the bottom half of this clamp right here, and um, on the top, I have sort of a hole for oil. That I, I kind of wish I did a better oiling system with little oilers that stick up. Um, and I also have on the bottom, you'll see there's a little hole right there where the oil goes through. That's super important. It's got to go and touch the shaft. Again, I wish I did a little better job, but that's essentially how it works. So looking at this one, it's the same deal. I just made another one. It tightens the same way, has the same mechanism here. This is kind of just like a little vise. Um, and it also, you know, it works the same way. You, you put the belt on and you tighten it. It pulls this back and it tensions this belt right here. The one thing that was important that I realized was uh, I have to have, and uh, yes, I know the welds, not super pretty, but this is kind of messy, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, you need to have these little pieces of metal here. Uh, I don't have one on this side. To stop this part from popping up, and this is kind of at the limit of its travel right now. I think the belt has stretched, but you know, if you tighten it, especially for the bottom one, uh, 
this thing has a tendency to go up like this. So you have to have this to sort of keep it down. And this is just mounted to the table. So the motor is wired up to this switch right here. And, um, you know, that just turns it on. So you might be asking, well, what kind of metal can it cut on here? Well, let me show you an example. All right, this is just a little quarter inch piece of aluminum just to start things off. So you can see that cut that pretty well. Um, the one drawback I've had with this is, is you know, it, it's not, it's, it's, it's kind of cobbled together, I guess you could say. So if you're doing really thick stuff, you gotta go really slow or else the blade jams and, um, you know, it's not good and you just have to back out and let it run. But it's not the fastest thing, but it does work. Well, um, Okay, well that's just aluminum, but you might be saying, I want to cut something a little bit more substantial. Uh, I just finished cutting this 2 and 5 eighths piece of cast iron stock, and it did it no problem. I think I was done in like, maybe 10 minutes, I don't know, maybe 10, between 10 and 15 minutes. Again, you have to go slow, or else the, the blade jams, it's not perfect, but it got the job done, and this was super cheap, okay, I'm talking, um, 50 bucks for this, 50 bucks for the steel to make the tensioning, maybe a little bit more than 50. Uh, I think, you know, I, I don't remember how much wood cost, but I'm pretty sure I had most of it lying around. And the link belts, I also had lying around. Link belts can be kind of expensive. So you, this might be like 150, 200 bucks to make everything if you bought everything. Um, assuming you get, you get this part, the, the actual, you know, saw cheap. So here's just a view of it running. A little bit of run out on this pulley, but whatever. So the biggest thing with this build is making sure that your pulleys are aligned pretty well um, so they stay on track. And also that um, when you tighten your pulleys from your tensioner, you don't get any, any flexing when you tighten because that can cause the pulley to sort of flex sideways and cause the belt to get thrown off. So um, you gotta have, the, the tensioner mechanism has to be, you know, pretty steady. But when you get it, it really works great. So that's really it. That's the, that's the bandsaw. Um, like I said, it works great. It's not perfect though, but you know, maybe you guys can make it a little better than I could. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.